Let's look for it together, yes? Okay, help me look. Amelia, are you looking? <laughs> Do we know what we're looking for? Yes? No. Yes? No. Yes. <laughs> Enlightenment. Enlightenment. <laughs> it's okay, Ryan. I did not know what it was either. <laughs> I have an idea, and maybe you will find enlightenment in my story. So please, allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Sun Wukong, the Monkey King. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And my story is an ancient one. One that goes back many, many years. It's a story of redemption and enlightenment. <gasps> of hope and goodwill. So journey with me, my friends, <laughs> as I share my tale with you this holiday season. <laughs> ah, yeah. It all began long, long ago. It was a windy night, and there was magic in the air. The powerful wind blew over the land and through the trees, blowing upwards towards the midnight sky. And then, <laughs> on a mountaintop, left by the wind on its nocturnal journey, appeared a special rock. <laughs> it is the rock from which I was born, raised by a great and powerful teacher. I was taught the magic of life. I could change my shape at will. Amelia. You don't seem to believe me. Oh, I do. No? Well, I prove it to you, yes? Okay. Okay, all of you, help me out, yes? Tell me to become a, a, a tree. Go ahead, out loud. Tree. Tree. <laughs> Amelia, do you like my leaves? I love it. <laughs> How about a bird? Yes, I know, a crane. Tell me to become a crane. Become a crane. <laughs> or a tiger. Ha! Or a monkey. Oh, or a monkey flying through the air. <laughs> That's me. Impressive, huh? I like it. Well, one day in my homeland, a most terrible monster came to attack the monkeys. We battled day and night until finally, finally, I defeated the evil creature. And that's when I became the Monkey King. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, and this, this is my magic stick, which I acquired on one of my many adventures. You see, there I was at the bottom of the Eastern Sea when I came across the powerful Dragon King. He was showing me around his underwater kingdom when we came across this magical weapon, a, a powerful weapon that would enable me to become the master of the four quarters. I asked him to give it to me, but he refused. The magical stick of which you inquire belongs beneath the sea. He said, let no one disturb the underwater kingdom of the Dragon King. Well, who wanted to disturb the underwater kingdom of the Dragon King? All I wanted was one teensy, ooh, weensy, little magic stick. So, when no one was looking, I ripped it from the ocean floor. Whoa! But all of a sudden, something began to happen. The ocean floor, it started to rumble, and the underwater kingdom began to collapse. I grabbed the stick, and I narrowly escaped to the surface. Ha-ha! <laughs> I had the stick, and the power was mine. With my magic stick, I was invincible. I was always looking for new adventures. My power, it grew stronger and stronger every day. Nothing could stop the Monkey King. Ryan, why is everybody cheering? I became very selfish. <laughs> okay, we try this again, okay? This time, different reaction, yes? Okay, 
<laughs> Nothing could stop the Monkey King! <laughs> I know. But it gets better. You see, that was this little matter of Buddha. And the abuse of my power did not please him too much. So, as punishment, he sealed me away inside of a magic mountain for all eternity. <laughs> Let me out, I would scream. <laughs> but it was to no avail. <laughs> Or you see, I had become selfish and lost everything. It was at this point that Dang Sang stepped into the picture. He was organizing his great pilgrimage to India, a journey to bring the true teachings of Buddha back to the emperor of China. You see, he knew of my heroic reputation. And he went to Buddha to arrange for my release. The monk was willing to give me a second chance to accompany him on his journey. Oh, and this crown right here, that's just a little bit of insurance, also courtesy of Buddha. You see, if at any point during our journey, I began to have any uh, impure thoughts, then the crown, Ow! Then the crown, ow! Wow! Then the crown would start to contract on my head, causing me much discomfort. Of course, now it's just for looks, so I dare not demonstrate its abilities. <laughs> At any rate, I obeyed my new master and protected him from the many perils we had to undergo on our journey. <laughs> and when we returned, Teachings in hand, we were greeted with great cheers by the Heavenly Committee of Welcome! <laughs> Amelia, that's not what it sounded like. It was much louder. I promise I was there. Okay, we'll try this one more time, okay? This time not like a golf clap, yes? Okay. We were greeted with great cheers by the Heavenly Committee of Welcome! Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, Shisha, you brought me back. <sighs> Throughout the entire adventure, I began to realize the purpose of my journey. You see, the struggle to become the most powerful got the Monkey King in nothing but trouble. But helping others in their search for enlightenment, that, that, my friends, I have learned, is the greatest power of all. And that is my story. And the story that brings me here today it was quite an exciting adventure, yes? Oh, yeah. Maybe not as exciting as yours, or yours, or even yours. Because I have learned that to everyone, has a story. And this time that you all call the holiday season, why, why it's a time when cultures from all around the world share our stories. For you see, as different as we are, our traditions are very much the same and based in love <sighs> and the search for enlightenment. Whoa, 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 like Monkey King, bro. You totally said it again, enlightenment. Uh. What is it? <laughs> it's the lessons we learn through this journey called life. So now that you know, take enlightenment, hope, and goodwill towards others, and keep it with you throughout the entire new year. And as for me, the Monkey King, and all my Chinese ancestors, past and present, I wish you all a wonderful holiday season and a, a happy new year!